In a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Neuralink wants to connect our brains to computers, and now it's showed off a device reading a pig's brain signals in real time. But how does it work, and will it turn you into a cyborg? I'm going to break it all down for you. Elon Musk is at it again. This time, he was unveiling a new brain-computer interface. It's called The Link, and he says that one day it could cure everything from paralysis to blindness. Now, I'm going to explain all of this to you using the galaxy brain meme. Just think, starting off basic, and then I'm going to blow your mind. So step one, the basics. Our brains are made up of billions of neurons, cells with long, spindly arms that send messages via electrical spikes. Those spikes in electricity travel between neurons in a chain reaction, sending messages to the parts of our brain that control speech or movement, for example. When you move your arm, that action started as an electrical spike up here, which leads us to the second part of the galaxy brain meme, how Neuralink plans to read those electric spikes. According to Neuralink, your brain cells are kind of like electrical wiring. And rather than just having neurons sending electrical signals, those signals could be sent and received by a chip. Elon Musk unveiled Neuralink's implantable brain chip, the Link version 0.9. It's a brain-computer interface designed to be implanted directly into the brain by a surgical robot. Same-day surgery without a big incision or general anesthesia. You remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull, and, uh, and then you can just walk around right, after, right afterwards. It's pretty cool. The chip plugs into your brain directly by a tiny microscopic threads. They're about 1 20th of the width of a human hair, and they connect with the neurons in your brain to receive and send electrical signals. Importantly, Neuralink says these electrodes won't damage your brain. If they're inserted very carefully, so that the robot actually images the brain and makes sure to avoid any veins or arteries, so that the electrodes can be inserted um, with no noticeable damage. You sort of think like if you stab something with a wire, surely it will bleed, but actually at a, at a really small scale, it does not. Now, I can't believe I'm giving you specs on a brain chip, but here we go. It has an all day battery life, wireless charging, and it's designed to wirelessly connect to your phone via Bluetooth with a range of five to 10 meters. And the whole thing, the chip, the surgery, the full cyborg experience, will start off expensive, but Musk says it'll hopefully eventually only cost a couple of thousand dollars. He wants it to be about as expensive as laser eye surgery. Okay, so you're with me so far, I'm going to expand the brain meme. We're going to Sparkle Brain, and this is where it gets weird. Elon Musk did a demo and brought out three live pigs, one without a brain implant, one who'd had a link implanted and then had it removed without any issues, and a third pig named Gertrude that had had a chip in for two months. We got to see a live reading of the neurons in the pig's brain firing in real time, specifically the neurons that were sending and receiving messages from her snout. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. We also saw the chip predicting the pig's movements based on brain activity. And we saw the electrodes firing and stimulating neurons and lighting up different brain regions. And that opens the door to some pretty game-changing applications for the link, beyond creating some kind of pork borg. Neuralink's head neurosurgeon, Matthew McDougall, said the first trials of the link would be aimed at treating things like paraplegia. The company said it received FDA breakthrough device designation in July. Now, that's not the same as FDA approval, but it is a fast track to getting a medical device out in the field. But Neuralink doesn't want to stop there, and that is where we go full galaxy brain. There was talk of curing blindness by implanting the link in the visual cortex, treating mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, and addiction, connecting the link to a heads-up display so you could walk around like the Terminator. And then there were basic ideas like, I don't know, telepathy, replaying your own memories, superhuman vision, and the ability to see ultraviolet light. Oh, and connecting your brain and uploading it into a robot. 
I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. Everything that's encoded in memory, you could, uh, you could upload. You could basically store your memories um, as a backup and restore the memories. Um, and ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be weird. <laughs> a lot of these ideas are huge, but we didn't get any concrete timelines or really any idea of how they'd actually work. So while the link could be amazing for treating things like spinal injuries, don't expect to turn into the Terminator anytime soon. Still, it was amazing to see a brain working in real time. All right, guys, if you want to watch the whole presentation and see the little piggies in action, then we've got that for you on CNET. But if you want to watch the boiled down supercut with just the good stuff, we've got that for you too. And don't forget, subscribe. You're definitely going to want to get more Neuralink information from us here.